Good day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang angles formed by seconds and tangents. Ito ay parte pa rin ng rate and geometry na about sa circle. At may tatlo na akong video na gawa tungkol sa circle. At kung hindi nyo pa iyon napapanood, ay lalagay ko sa description ang link. Objectives sa mga matututuhan natin pagkatapos ng video ito. Identify and illustrate angles formed by seconds and tangents. Determine the arcs intercepted by angles formed by seconds and tangents. Find the measure of an angle determined by seconds and tangents. Tangent line is a line in the plane of the circle that intersects the circle at exactly one point. Ito, ito linya ito yung D. Ay tinatawag na tangent line. Kasi, na-meet niya lang yung circle sa isang point lang. Second, the infinite line extension of a chord. Sa mga video ko nung nakaraan, nasabi ko na ang chord ay ganito. Point to point. Straight line na point to point. Dito naman, ang second ay itong nakikita nyo DA. Tapos, in-extend na siya palabas. Linya na siya, dire-direcho na. Formulas in finding the measures of angles formed by seconds and tangents in their intercepted arcs. Una, yung sa may measures of angles formed by seconds and tangents. 1. A second and a tangent intersecting on the circle. So, ganito yan. Itong second line na ito, tapos itong tangent ay nag inter nag-intersect sila sa isang point lang ng circle at ito yon yung point B yung angle na nabuo nila dyan ay yun yung angle EBD ayun, EBD ay 50 degrees at nakuha yung sukat na yon sa ito, kalahati ng arc BFB kaya ito may kita nyo, measure of angle EBD is equal to one half of measure of arc DFB one half of 100 degrees ayan o, oh, DFB ay 100 degrees then, measure of angle EBD is equal to 50 degrees number 2 a second and the tangent intersecting outside the circle ayan, ito yung second line Ayan, yung A, line A, C. Tapos itong tangent ay itong line C, D. Nag-intersect sila sa labas. At makukuha yung measure nitong angle na ito, itong angle A, C, D. Ayan o, A, C, D. Kapag pinag-minus itong arc na nandito, measure ng arc na to tapos yung measure ng arc na ito tapos i ta times sa 1 half ayan measure of angle ACD is equal to 1 half of measure of arc AED ito yun AED yung 150 degrees minus measure of arc BID ito yun BID Yan, 150 degrees minus 60 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. 90 degrees times 1 half ay magiging 45 degrees. Pangatlo, two tangents intersecting outside the circle. Ito dalawang tangent line. Itong line BC as itong isang line DC. Nag-intersect sila sa labas ng circle tapos yung angle na nabuo nila yung sukat nyan ay ang kalahati ng difference nitong arc na ito tas nitong arc na ito at ito yon. measure of angle BCD is equal to 1 half of measure of arc BAD ito yung arc BAD oh. BAD at nakalagay dyan ay 240 degrees minus measure of 
arc BED ito yung BED 120 degrees ayan 240 degrees minus 120 degrees ay 120 degrees at ang kalahati niya ay 60 degrees at ayun ang sukat nitong nasa labas itong angle BCD ang laba measures of angles formed by 2 seconds measure of angles by 2 seconds una, 2 seconds intersecting on the circle ito yung dalawang second itong line na ito line BC tapos itong line AC ayun, makikita nyo sa isang point lang sila sa circle nag intersect tapos inabuong angle dito ay kalahati ng angle ng arc na nabuo nila dito sa taas ayan to measure of angle ABC is equal to one half of measure of arc BEA ito yung arc BEA BEA at yun ay 140 degrees one half of 140 degrees ay 70 degrees kaya ang nakuha natin na measure ng angle ABC ay ito 70 degrees ayan 2 2 seconds intersecting inside the circle ito yung dalawang second itong line BD tapos yung line AC ay nag intersect sa loob ng circle ayan, kita nyo naman sa loob ng circle tapos makukuha ang measure ng angle na nabuo nila which is itong angle BEA sa kalahati ng total ng mga arc na nabuo nila ito yon BA tapos ito isa CD yan ang formula dyan ay 1 half of measure of arc BA ayun yon which is 70 degrees plus measure of arc CD, ito yung 30 degrees, ay katumbas ng measure of angle BEA. Ayan. Measure of angle BEA is equal to 1 half of 70 degrees plus 30 degrees. 70 degrees plus 30 degrees ay 100 degrees. At ang kalahati niya ay 50 degrees. At iyon, nakuha natin ang angle BEA, ayan, 50 degrees. Last, two seconds intersecting outside the circle. Dito sa figure natin ay makikita nga natin na itong second line BC tapos itong second line na EC ay nag-intersect sa labas. Tapos yung nabuo nilang angle, ito, yung angle BCE ay equal sa one half ng measure of arc BFE, ito yung BFE minus measure of arc AD ayan pag, pag pinag minus daw sila tas pag pinag one half ayun daw yung magiging measure ng angle BCE tignan natin magiging one half tapos ito substitute 180 degrees ito yun eh, 180 degrees minus 60 degrees ito, 60 degrees is equal to, ayan 120 degrees tapos, i-times natin sa 1 half magiging 60 degrees tapos ayan na, measure of angle BCE is equal to 60 degrees, ito yung BCO BCE okay, problem solving about measures of angles formed by tangent and seconds If measure of arc AED, ito yung AED, ayan, ay 150 degrees, ayan, nilagi ko na 150 degrees. And measure of arc BID is equal to 60 degrees, ayan, nilagi ko na 60 degrees. Find measure of angle ACD. Solution, measure of angle ACD ay equal sa kalahati ng arc AED, ito yun, AED minus 
measure ng arc BRD. Substitute natin, measure of angle ACD is equal to 1 half of 150 degrees minus 60 degrees. 150 degrees minus 60 degrees ay 90 degrees. At kalahatiin natin siya, ang makuha natin ay 45. Therefore, the answer is measure of angle ACD is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, next. If measure of angle BEA is equal to 45 degrees, ayan, nilagay ko na, 45 degrees BEA, and measure of arc BA, arc to, ah, lagyan natin. Arc BA, Arc BA is equal to 60 degrees, find measure of arc CD, arc din to. Ayan. Nawala. Solution. Yung formula, ayan. Measure of angle BEA, itong BEA ay kalahati nga siya ng sum nitong BEA at nitong hindi, nitong arc BA tapos itong CD. Ayan, nilagay ko na dito. Measure of arc BA plus measure of arc CD. Yan, substitute natin yung given na value ng measure of angle BEA ay 45 degrees. Ayan. Tapos, ang arc BA ay 60 degrees. Tapos, unknown yung measure ng arc CD. Multiply both side by 2 to cancel 1 half. Ayan. Tapos, makakuha natin yung 45 times 2, 90. Tapos dito, yung 1 half, tinimes sa 2. Kaya na-cancel na siya. Naging 1 na lang. Tapos, 60 degrees plus measure of arc CD. Then, ilipat yung 60 degrees sa kabila. Magiging negative 60 degrees. Kaya, 90 degrees minus 60 degrees ay 30 degrees. Therefore, the answer is measure of arc CD arc CD is equal to 30 degrees. Ito daw ay 30 degrees na. 30 degrees. Okay, thank you for watching. Sana may natutuhan kayo. Please like, share, and subscribe for more math video tutorials. At huwag nyo na rin kalimutan ang i-click ang bell button para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong upload. Tapos, mas mabuting panoorin nyo na rin ang mga nauna kong video para mas makasunod kayo sa ating mga video tutorials. Ganito na lang. Hanggang sa muli, paalam.